Today I want to talk about how to reduce conflict in your life and how to build better relationships, whether that be with sure your partner or your business partner, your family, your friends, your housemates, someone you're supporting. By using this concept, the five love languages, we can actually help to improve our communication and our understanding of all the people around us. So there's this concept, which is that we give and receive love in five different ways, but we think that everyone gives them, gives love and receives love in the same order as us, but we actually all give and receive love in a different order of importance of those five different ways, which I'm gonna get into. So it can be really useful to understand how you like to receive and give love and then how the people that are close to you do the same. So that's gonna help you reduce conflict and it's gonna help you build stronger and better relationships. So welcome to The Power of Helping. My name's Ruben Wax and I'm a trainee counselor and I'm passionate about improving people's lives so that they're then in a better place to empower and support the people around them. So the five love languages, which is how we express our love and that we care for people are words of affirmation, which is just saying how we feel, physical touch, quality time, gift giving and receiving, and acts of service, so doing things for others. So we each give and express our love and our care in a different order of importance when it comes to these five love languages. Like, for example, my number one is words of affirmation. I definitely say how I feel about people and it means so much to me when people say the things to me, how they're feeling. And then my second one is physical touch, like I love giving people a hug when I see them or if someone puts their hand on my shoulder and tells me I'm doing a good job, that's double whammy, I'm feeling great. So we each have it in a different order. Now it uses the word love, but really it's just an expression of how you care for people. So that could be in a business relationship or a colleague, like let's say a colleague goes and gets you a muffin on the way back from getting a coffee. That's them showing you love through gift giving, or if they decide to take something off your hands because you're really stressed, that's them showing that they care through an act of service. Now conflicts, unless something really bad has happened where someone has done something that's really impacted someone negatively, a lot of conflicts in our lives are caused by miscommunications because we feel like our needs aren't getting met or we're being misunderstood or underappreciated. And so the concept of love languages can help us explain a little bit why this does actually happen. Now a classic example of this is one a person of the relationship going off and working incredibly hard to support the family and they're working all the time and that's clearly them. They're thinking, I show my love because I provide for the family. They're doing their act of service. They're giving 10 out of 10 for that type of love language. But then in that classic example, the other partner is thinking, I barely receive any love because I get love through quality time and touch and I'm barely getting any of that. And this is how a lot of resentment can end up coming into a relationship because people think that they're giving their love but it's not being received or someone is thinking they're barely ever giving love to me but we're just not understanding their love language and how they give it to us. And so I'm gonna get into the individual love languages now, but it's important to remember that no love language is better or worse than the other. It's normally just how we received and got love from our caregivers when we were younger. So if words of affirmation are really high up on your list like they are for me, one thing I've really found that's helped me is basically just asking for them to say how they feel. So for example, in my last relationship, I definitely have quite active service tendencies, so I do a lot of things for people. But if I don't hear it back in, in the words that they say, then I, I just don't really know if they've appreciated it or that they value me. So when I brought this up that I need to hear it, then she basically was like, in my last relationship, was like, oh, sorry, yeah, I didn't realize. I do really appreciate you supporting me with this or helping. And the, the more that she said that, the better I felt and the more I felt appreciated and understood in my relationship. And so let's get on to physical touch. Making sure that you are expressing your love through physical touch to them so they do receive that love. Rongan Chatterjee talks about how physical touch is an essential for good health. So it's gonna be beneficial for both of you to increase the amount of physical touch you have as well. Now, when it comes to gift giving, it's about the thought that goes behind it. It's the fact that you're being thoughtful of the person. So you're remembering special occasions, you're thinking about them when you're on a trip. 
So if you're the person that you want to improve this relationship with is very gift giving, then remembering that so that you can bring in some of that extra care when maybe that's not the first thing that you think of. That was exactly how it was in my last relationship. Gift giving was really high on her uh, love languages, but it was really low on mine. And I wouldn't think of that very often. But when I when we did the test together and I found out that that was her up high on her list, I started to do that more and I saw a massive difference. So. Think about basically adding a bit more of that in if you find that they are more gift giving orientated. So if quality time is really high up on the list for either one of you in this relationship, whether that's your business partner, colleague, family, friend, partner, whoever it is, a really great way of getting that need met is through scheduling quality time together. So having no distractions, no phones, and just making sure that that time is set for just a you two. And lastly, let's talk about acts of service, which is where you're basically wanting to show them that you are a part of their team. You're either helping them with the workload, you're doing tasks together, or you're offering to take things off their hands if they're really stressed. And this is gonna mean a lot to those people. And if this is a way that you really receive love, again, it's just about expressing that to the other person that you really appreciate when you do things together or they're supporting you in those ways. Honestly, don't underestimate how strong a concept this is. It can be so powerful if you bring it into your relationships or you just use it as a framework to understand how your relationships are going. Now, I've seen so many conflicts get repaired by just bringing this concept in to help them. Quite a few of my friends, I've seen them having conflicts with their housemates and it's all been really about do they feel appreciated and are they caring enough? But when you bring this in, you can recognize that they are, but they're just missing each other because they're giving 10 of one and the other's just receiving it as a two. And it's been the same the other way around. So when they both can acknowledge that, they can see how they both have been trying to show their care and they've just not been meeting each other in the right way. So try bringing it in. It's honestly amazing. So if you want to know what yours are, you can take a test and I'll put a link to one down below. It's on fivelovelanguages.com. And it's double good if you get the person in this relationship you're with to take it as well. Like in the end, it's super fun to do. It adds loads of clarity and it improves your communication, which is going to reduce conflict and build a deeper, better connection. So you can't really lose. So if you enjoyed this kind of content as well, I've got a video on improving communication, which I'm sure you'll enjoy as well. So I'll put a link to that as well. And yeah, big thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed it and you got some value, then please consider hitting the like and the subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great day.